Plastics surround us in our everyday life. From the moment we wake up to the minute we fall asleep. Traces of plastic have even been found in the human brain. And studies indicate we ingest about a credit card's worth of plastic every week. But from the micro to the macro, plastics are making another mark on the world as well, and leaving a permanent mark on our fossil records. Plastic glomerates are fusion, essentially, of plastics and rocks. Um, and they occur under specific conditions, but they have been brought up as one of these sort of pieces of geological evidence that, um, that we might see as a long-term imprint of human activities, because plastics are only made by humans. And, and seeing them fused into kind of a, the geological stratum of the planet has been brought up as one of these main pieces of arguments or pieces of evidence that we can use when we're, we're trying to think about what would a geologist in the future um, look to as evidence of humanity. Created when plastic is melted together with debris, such as sand, seashells, or rocks, everything from a campfire along a shoreline to lava flowing in a plastic polluted area can produce these new conglomerates. The reason why we have geologic collections is to be a library of the Earth's history. This is one of the first examples that we've started to see of plastic becoming incorporated in the rock record. So the Earth's history is 4.56 billion years. We've never seen something like this happen in the geologic record before this. So we don't quite know how this is going to play out. So at the museum, it's important for us to have samples like this because it's showing first examples of these processes starting to take place. We don't know what this is going to turn into long term. We don't know if plastic is going to break down. It might turn back into oil and gas. It might turn into things like fossils. So if you crack open a rock and you see like the imprint of a leaf, you could eventually one day see things like imprints of flip-flops or plastic bags or water bottles. But plastic wasn't always so universal. Invented only 100 years ago, it's made primarily of highly elastic synthetic polymer and quickly skyrocketed in popularity for being so lightweight, flexible, and cheap to produce. You can see when people started to create plastics at broad scale, what we call the Great Acceleration in the 1950s, and you have this really large upscaling of a lot of industrial activities. Back then, the world produced about 2 million tons of plastic every year. Now, that amount has multiplied by about 225 times with one million plastic bottles purchased every minute, according to the UN. That means more plastic has been produced in the last 10 years than the previous century. And only 9% of plastic ever produced has been recycled. I think by looking at objects like this, people see a direct impact of their, their actions on the environment. There's definitely places in society we will not be able to get away from using plastic, but I hope it gives people that second thought of do I actually need this plastic fork for five minutes? And also, what happens to your plastic when you're done with it? Just because we put it in a garbage can doesn't necessarily mean that it ends up somewhere safe for it forever. With around 36% of all plastic produced for single-use applications, experts project plastic waste will triple worldwide by 2060 at the current rate. To combat this, 175 countries are negotiating to create the first international UN Global Plastics Treaty. With final talks set to take place in South Korea and be finalized by the end of this year. Plastics really need to be regulated throughout their life cycle, from production to use to disposal. Because at every point, the use of plastics are an environmental concern. Their production um, is intimately tied to the climate change crisis because plastics are by and large made from chemicals derived from fossil fuels. As humans transform fossil fuels into plastic fossils, the so-called plastic rocks may be the most prominent mark that humans leave in the geological record, capturing the extent of plastic and its pollution in modern life.